The tantalizing tale of Catherine returns with all new dilemmas and puzzles in Catherine Full Body. As the lines blur between nightmare and reality, freedom and commitment, what will become of Vincent Brooks? Your choices and the moral consequences that follow will determine his fate. Catherine Full Body features a number of brand new cutscenes, animated cinematics, and entirely new branching story paths. That's the description for Catherine Full Body, and yes, that was me imitating the game's narrator. Anyway, Catherine is back, this time bigger and better than before. I loved Catherine back in 2011 when it launched on PS3. This is the same studio that's been bringing us the Persona franchise and that shines through in Catherine. The characters are extremely charming and lovable, the writing is fantastic, and the game overall is just pretty wacky and hilarious. Basically like the Persona series. However, Catherine dives deep into one area. Infidelity. Okay, so Vincent isn't actually married to his girlfriend Catherine with a K, but she wants to get married and move further in their relationship, but Vincent is hesitant. Then he somehow unknowingly spends the night with a gorgeous blonde that he just met, and then his life turns into trials and tribulations of trying to escape his nightmares. This is where the gameplay comes in. Picture the most advanced version of Qbert that you can imagine. Your goal is to get to the top of the tower without being killed or falling off. I remember playing it back on PS3 and the game was really hard. Luckily, this time around they actually have an easy mode and an even easier mode if you just want to follow the story, which by all means is still worth playing to this game just for the story. If you're not a fan of the gameplay or puzzle games in general, I still highly recommend Catherine Full Body because there's more than just this style of gameplay in the game. When you're not getting tortured in your nightmares, you're spending your nightlife at the Stray Sheep. It's the bar where Vincent and his buddies spend a lot of their time. The rapport between these characters is very charming and the story that's unfolding outside of the nightmares is intriguing as well. There are a bunch of murders happening in the area and Vincent Brooks takes notice that they sort of connect to the dreams that he's been having. And during all of that chaos, he's trying to figure out what he's going to do with his relationship with Catherine with a K, and if he should tell her about what he did with Catherine with a C. Then, newly introduced in Catherine Full Body is the new Catherine who just goes by Ren. This whole portion of the game is brand new, and I love that they got back the wildly popular Troy Baker to do more lines for Vincent. On top of that, Laura Bailey also came back to do more lines as Catherine. And here I was thinking they were big shots that wouldn't come back to a game like this. Kudos to them. Anyway, while Ren's story does seem like it was weirdly melded into the main plot, it's still great getting to know her and doing the stuff that involves her character. I don't want to dive deep into story stuff, but man, Vincent just cannot catch a break in this game. Atlas and the Persona Studio really worked hard to make this the definitive Catherine experience. From brand new branching story paths, dozens of new cutscenes and animated cinematics, as well as new songs. Then on top of all that, if you already played the original, you can choose to play the game in remix mode which changes up the gameplay quite a bit. The remixed mode adds compact linked blocks to once familiar levels requiring new techniques and strategies to conquer them. Basically if you're like me and you love the original but haven't played it since 2011, jumping back into this game fully remastered with a bunch of new content is totally worth it. Or if you're someone who's not into puzzle games like this but you want a good story, I definitely think it's worth picking up as well. Just hanging out at the bar with your buddies, texting your girl friends, and living the daily terrible life of Vincent Brooks is a blast. Thanks a lot for watching guys, sorry this review was a bit scattered, it's all off the top of my head, I didn't do any pre-writing for this video, which I probably should have, but you know, it's a game I'm pretty passionate about, so I felt like I could do it without writing anything. But let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Do you plan on picking up Catherine Full Body? Did you play the original? Let me know. Thanks a lot for watching, I'll talk to you guys later.